Welcome YouTube world. Of course, my name is David. I'm a full-time pastor and a fun-time reseller. I want to show most of the videos that we do now. We either show some of the things that we luckily were able to source or things that we were gratefully able to sell. So if you're interested in videos like this, I am your man. I have been showing these for a long, long time. Uh, I appreciate you if you have watched uh, already. If you're already sub, man, great. Uh, appreciate you commenting. Appreciate you going through the whole process. But I don't know if any of you have ever saw uh, Tesla Picker. He's got all these kind of noises that he's able to share. Uh, you know, it just pops up in the background. Well, uh, you know, listen to this. Listen to these that I've got. You hear that? <laughs> Crows. That's called dinner bell. What about Old Faithful? What about Pray in Distress? Oh. <laughs> That's some coyote vocal. All right, I'm gonna cut this off. I'm having too much fun. Uh, this is just this fusion. Uh, in the last video, I probably showed these to you. Uh, these things are pretty awesome. I think these this will probably go for about $300. I haven't got it listed yet because I'm having too much fun with it. Uh, but let's show you some of the things that I sold today. I wonder if the adventure of a full-time pastor, a part-time reseller, would be interesting, informative, or entertaining. Find out on this episode, the man, the myth, the legend, uh, maybe not a myth or a legend, ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Resale. All right, here's some of the things that uh, sold for me uh, last night. This is Thursday about 3.30. Uh, I sold a lot of two of these ROC. Uh, you have seen that I have sold these. Uh, I still have a bunch left. The price is starting to come back up on these. Sold this lot of two for $49.99. Uh, uh, the second thing that I sold is actually a lot of, let's see how many of these are there. There's a lot of eight. I sold, uh, you'll see on the screen over here, I sold four lots of two, so eight of these total, and uh, I sold uh, sold these for $180, uh, and it cost me, it was free shipping, we worked out a deal, so the shipping on this is going to cost me about $32, uh, so happy to uh, get these, uh, get these gone. Uh, next is, yep, I sold, I'm just about out of these, I have two of these left, these are just the little uh, pencil sharpeners. Uh, I sold uh, this one for $8.49. All right, next is a lot of, I sold two orders to the same person, Miss Lynn. I sold a lot of two and then a single one. Uh, this one went for $49.99. This one went for $26.99. So all in $76.98. Uh, free shipping. All right, next is a autograph Bri uh, Bryce Perkins card. Uh, this is, I've got some more of these to open. These are Panini draft pick cards. These went for, uh, that one went for $12.99, free shipping. Next is another lot of cards. I bought these by accident, thinking maybe they were uh, card packs to open, but it's every box is a complete set. Sold this one for $13.99, free shipping. I'm just about getting my money back. I bought them for $10, selling them for $13.99. So I may be getting my money back on those because they were not what I thought they were when I bought them. All right, next is a uh, one of these. This is an Aveeno Intensive Renewal Serum. Uh, this one for $12.99, free shipping. I sold another lot to a lady named Sandra. I wrote on the listing that the box had damage on these. Uh, so this one went for $12.99, free shipping as well. Next, uh, this is not the sale of the day, which is Jimmy. 
uh, not Frank. I've been saying on the videos that it was Stroke of Luck Frank that does that. It's Jimmy, Uncle Ben Old School Flips, that does Sale of the Day. Uh, he had a guy named uh, Pokey World, I believe is his name, Larry, uh, on, and uh, he talked a great deal about Pokemon cards, and I watched and looked through some that I had, and I actually found this one. This is an era card. It's a Mew, I guess is how you say it. It is a holograph card, but what the era is, is when you flip it over, uh, the ball here, the Pokeball, is upside down. The red should be on the top. And because of this, I got $39.99 for this card. So happy to make that sale. Next, I sold these. Uh, this is Anatomy, the Muscles. This went for $12. This is Grace. Uh, she also bought a pack of color pencils, so this is uh, kind of a different lot of anatomy cards and color pencils, but hey, I'm happy to make that sale to Grace. Thank you uh, very much. Next, I sold another combination. I uh, sold two lots of these at $11 a piece. Free shipping, so it'll cost me $6.94 uh, to ship those, but happy to unload them. Next is another lot of two of the ROC. I took a lot on these for 40, I took an offer for $40 on these two. Uh, so happy to make that sale. Next, uh, this is uh, Old School Flip. Jimmy, this is the sale, sale, sale of the day. This is the, uh, I've sold this once, the buyer canceled. I'm selling it again, I have another one to list, but this one sold uh, $520 plus Shipping, the buyer paid $23.60. It's going to cost me $16.39 to ship this. Uh, so happy once again, $520 sale there uh, to make that sale. That is uh, truly, uh, truly a blessing to be able to unload that. All right, next is a Fenton glass. Uh, yes, I do sell glass. This is Fenton. You look on the bottom, this is hand painted and also numbered as 154 out of 3,000. I sold this for $20 plus $8.40, shipping $28.40 out the door. So uh, now I'm gonna get all these packed up and then head to the post office. I think I'll probably show you the orders that I have tomorrow. And this will be the first week if I do it that I'll be able to show you everything I sold in a week span. I think I went from 45 labels on the weekend to 17 or no, 18 labels on Monday. On Tuesday, I had 16 and today I have 16 labels. Uh, so I'll show you the sales that I have tomorrow and it should give you a week span from Friday until Friday of what the Rev sold. So I'll see you probably in just a minute. Right, y'all, I'm back again. Today, I've got different clothes on. Yes, COVID-19, I still get up, change, get a shower, do my Bible study, go through all the things that we uh, normally do on a regular day, uh, mostly, uh, and of course, stay inside, list, and do different things that I can do. Uh, but I told you yesterday, as I started this video, that I would share with you the items that I sold, and through today would be one week. It would be from uh, what sold over our weekend, the last video, the video that I put out uh, recent, the very uh, most recent uh, last video from this. And then today's video will actually cover seven day span of items that uh, I have sold. And if I looked at it right, it's about $3,200 worth of stuff. So to me, uh, that's probably the best seven day period uh, in the history of reselling. I wish uh, I could do that all the time. Um, but I want to share with you once again, I have been purchasing these cards, been selling a few of them, uh, which has been really, really good. So uh, these are some trading cards. Uh, the very first one that I sold uh, is this one here. It is a Chase Young uh, rookie card base. I sold it for $8.09. Next, really the next five listings. Now, I don't know why this happens. This is a listing I've had up for a couple of weeks. I've sold these for a long, long time. All of these have some form of box damage, so I put that on the listing. And uh, these items all sold $12.99 free shipping. Not big deal, not big money. Uh, but I sold five of them back to back to back to back to back. I think that's how you say that. Uh, five sales back to back 
different buyers for the total of $12.99 same product. Now, why does that happen? Is it a glitch? I'm cool with it. Uh, so $12.99 times five, five different customers, all of these items, which was uh, really, really cool. All right, next is a Jordan uh, Jordan Elliott Prism uh, autograph uh, signature card. This one went for $8.49. Next is a Kenny Wilkes. Once again, another autograph signature card. Kenny Wilkes sold for $7 free shipping. Next, I sold another Mach 3 uh, razor cartridges. This a lot it has five in there. This one sold for $10.49. Next is a pretty good one. This is a orange Tua Tonga Viola Prism. Uh, this one sold for $21.99, so that's a good sale there. All right, next, I hadn't sold any Hot Wheels in a long time. These are really the only ones that I've got for sale is these little lots of four. Uh, this lot sold for $10, free shipping. And yes, I sold another one, a uh, different buyer, $10, free shipping. All right, next is another to a tongue of viola this one is a 1999 this is a silver prism to a tongue of viola all right next is uh let's see here it is uh tavian uh fester or tavian fester i don't know how he says his name seven dollars it's a signature card seven dollars free shipping next is a uh jk dobbins uh, signature no this is a, a just a silver prism and I actually just threw a base card on the back this is an extra one uh, this uh, person Larry I think actually bought two no uh, Larry also bought another one of these two a tongue of Viola cards he bought this uh, uh, JK Dobbins card all right next is uh, this purple prism this is a, a Justin Herbert uh, this one went for $13.99, free shipping. And I don't know, this is probably the most expensive sale, uh, which isn't much, uh, but $26.99, Health and Beauty, ROC. Uh, $26.99, Health and Beauty. So that's all that I have sold. Uh, I've got one, two, three. I've got three metal detectors I need to list. I've got $1,000 pretty much of uh, Fox Pro which is uh, all this stuff that I showed you in the beginning of the video. I need to get all this listed. So I still have a lot of work to do, uh, but I appreciate you watching this far. Do you want to take a ride to the post office? I think some like that little chat. I'll talk with you in just a minute. All right, y'all, I'm headed to the post office. Uh, got another crazy day of sales, not a uh, crazy day in volume, not really crazy day in big money. Uh, but I had 16, let's make sure, I think I had 16 sales today, uh, which is another good day of sales. So I'm headed to the post office now. Um, and as I head to the post office, I usually like to have some word of wisdom or some little talk that I can share with you in these two or three minutes as I close out the video. Uh, but all I can say to you is as a reseller, and if you have your stuff at the house and you can list uh, the stuff, my word of advice is to list, list, list. Uh, I have spent more time listing uh, because not being able to get out and visit and do the things that I do as a full-time pastor, uh, I have had more time to list. And because of that, in this last week, I had 109 sales over three thousand dollars gross over the last seven days so if you go back and you look at today's video the last video and the video before last you will see all of those sales um to me that's pretty awesome to me that's uh, really really good to be able to uh, do that uh i don't know if i could replicate that often uh, but during this season and during this time, I'm able to do a lot of listing and because of that, I'm able to make a lot of sales. So my word of advice to you is uh, get excited that you've got time to list and get out and do some listing. 
So I love you. I thank y'all for watching. If you're not subbed to the channel, please do so. I know no other way of closing out this video than saying what I always say to close out a video. Deuces. May God bless. See, I told you it wasn't a myth or a legend. Just a regular dude selling on eBay. Thanks for watching.